Have you ever done something just to get a reward or avoided something to escape a consequence? That's the power of reinforcement and punishment at work. Key concepts in psychology tied to behavioral conditioning. Let's break it down. These ideas come from operant conditioning, a theory developed by psychologist B.F. Skinner. Operant conditioning is all about how behavior is shaped by consequences. Do something and get a reward. You're likely to do it again. Do something and get punished. You might avoid doing that next time. Now here's where it gets interesting. There are two types of reinforcements and two types of punishments. And with them, the word positive doesn't always mean good and negative doesn't always mean bad. So let's look at the four and play some examples with it to make it more clear. Positive reinforcement means that you are going to be adding something to increase a behavior. Think of the word positive as a plus. You're adding something desirable. So for this, a student that studies hard and gets praised by the teacher, that praise makes them want to study more. Or a child cleans their room and earns extra screen time. That reward increases the chance they'll clean again. Negative reinforcement on the flip side means that you're going to be removing something unpleasant to increase a behavior. Negative means taking something away, but it's still a reinforcement because it strengthens that behavior. So for example, when you jump into your car and buckle your seatbelt, you do that because it causes that annoying beeping sound to stop. That relief makes you more likely to buckle up every time you get in the car right away. Another example is a teen does their homework early to avoid nagging from their parent. The behavior increases because it removes a negative experience. Now let's talk about punishments. Positive punishment means that you are adding something unpleasant to decrease a behavior. It's positive because something is being added, but the goal is to stop the behavior. So for this, a student talks out of turn in class and gets extra homework. That added consequence makes them less likely to interrupt again. Or a dog jumps on someone and gets sprayed with water. That added discomfort discourages the behavior. Negative punishment means that they are going to be taking away something desirable to decrease a behavior. So a teen stays out past curfew and the car privileges are taken away. Losing the car makes them less likely to break curfew again. Or a child throws a tantrum and loses access to their favorite toy. The removal of this reward helps reduce outbursts in the future, hopefully. So why does this matter? Understanding reinforcement and punishment helps us shape behavior, whether in a classroom, at home, in the workplace, or even in our own lives. It's a powerful tool for parenting, teaching, coaching, and therapy. And it all ties back to the bigger picture, conditioning. Just like Pavlov's dogs learn to drool at the sound of a bell through classical conditioning, people learn behaviors based on the consequences that follow them. It's operant conditioning. By being aware of these tools, we can encourage, encourage positive habits and reduce unwanted ones. Not by guessing, but by understanding how human behavior actually works. So next time you reward yourself with a snack for finishing a task or try to break or stop something, you're just not managing your day. You're using reinforcing behavior. You're doing psychology. You're putting it into practice.